Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So in our last video, a great result for us, event four of the year, and we come away with the victory. So quick look at our standings, driver standings. We now sit second and sixth and in the team standings. Wow, I definitely didn't think that this was possible for us. Uh, and if it was possible, I definitely didn't think it was gonna be possible this early in the season. But we sit with a two point lead over Hammer, which is also an American team. So, hey, American team's doing very well so far into the season. Let's look through our email. And as usual, most of this I'm going to skip through. Let's take a look at the interview just to see what's going on. You attempted a quick pit stop. And yes, it did result in a humongous mistake of like 11 and a half seconds. I hated it. And I'm going to continue to answer it this way. Because seconds matter, we're going to continue to press the issue. We've got our morale bonus for the race of victory. And everything is looking great. I am extremely happy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward a couple of days so that the car repair can be completed. There's our email letting us know that. Okay, so we're at 71 and... 72% here, so we're in great shape there. I'm actually going to start with our brakes. So maybe we're at a point where I won't have to, if I can get these up, and we've got 17 days, so I think we're in good shape. Before I forget, let's go ahead and move everything over to uh, reliability. But I think we're in good shape because, you know, we've got some performance improvements that we've been able to make. So I'm very happy about that. But then also our reliability is getting to the point where once I get the brakes up above somewhere north of 70, I prefer closer to 80, but if we can get up north of 70, we may not have to do any repairs during the race and that would be huge. That has the ability to possibly uh, increase our finishing position even more by not, by not having to spend quite so much time on pit road. Okay, let's go ahead and move things forward. You can see we've got sponsorship, at least one slot to fill. And we've got a gearbox that is about to be finished for us, and that will be great. Looking forward to that for sure. All right, there we go. So we've got our email that the gearbox is indeed finished. Okay, and it is huge. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one out there because why wouldn't I want to? Okay, 540 is a huge jump in performance there. All right, so the next question becomes, what do we work on next? Uh, and really anything is up for grabs. Uh, another gearbox would be great. Uh, let's see where we are on everything. We're doing pretty good on engines. Now we're uh, relative to the, the grid itself, we're doing pretty good as far as being about average, but of course, who wants to be average? We want to get that as high above average as we can, like we are doing here with the brakes. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can get. Oops, I need to come back out for just a moment. Let's see, engine 611. Let's see what we can do on bettering the engine. Okay, so 617. And let's see, what's beyond that? Okay, I see a plus 30 there. Okay, I like that idea. Let's go ahead and spend a little bit of money and time working on that. So while this particular build of engine won't be that huge of a gain for me, it will be a nice gain from 583 to about 617, I believe it was. So that will be a nice little move for me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work on the gearbox. And let's take a look at our sponsors. So we only have the, the one spot open. And let's see what we've got available here. So 7th, 12th, or 13th. And I need to come in here and look. So 1st place or 6th place. Okay. So right here, I'm really only interested in the upfront money. Because the 6th place is probably the one I'm going to use. And it looks like 900,000 is my best option. 
Oddly enough, it's from a two-star rather than a four-star sponsor. But that's okay. We'll take that. So now everything is underway. Let's take one more look at the reliability and make sure we've got all of our staff allocated there. Okay, again, we're just more mainly looking to get up above about 70. All right, looks like somebody's going to bug us about a test track, and we're not worried about that. Now, long term, uh, if I were going to continue going with this, then absolutely we would want to do that. But in this case, not really. So let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. 99. Okay, I should have stopped this thing a good bit earlier than I did. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and line these up. So after the race, they will be the first things I start with, at least until we get our, our new engine that we need to spend some time on. All right, so 99% on that. I definitely didn't uh, think we were going to get there. That's what I get for not paying good enough attention. So we're going to use our same sponsor, sixth or above. And let's see about our parts. Obviously, we've got a new part that we want to get in here. So we've got our two brake options. Uh, the engines are still are where they are. Let's move everybody up on this. So that gives you uh, an increase if you're uh, if you're Reeve here, you get an increase of about 16, then an increase of 40 for Fetterman. So a very nice increase of 40. Take that whenever you can get it for sure. Okay, our brakes at 57, so not quite as good, but maybe we won't have to fix them each time. Maybe we can get by with only fixing them once during the race. We'll take that if we can get it. So it looks like it's time to head to Phoenix. Practice and qualifying now done, and things did not go very well for us at all. We come in 10th and 12th in qualifying, and really 10th is adding insult to injury because if you remember with this qualifying format, the top 10 have to start the race on their qualifying tires. And so now we're not only do we not get to start farther up than 10th, we are going to be the last car that is starting on worn tires. So that is not going to be good for us. Uh, we'll take a look at our bonuses, race trim for both cars and soft tires uh, bonuses for both cars as well. I've changed the setup around uh, again. The AI really didn't do me a whole lot of favors in uh, their setup choices but we'll have what we have hopefully a little bit better than the 89 percent after i made a few changes we'll have to start the race on our qualifying tires uh, from q2 and then we'll start with eight laps of fuel which for us will turn into seven laps of fuel is as far as i can go but because of our tire situation it's not going to last that long so you might wonder why start the race on more fuel than you need well I'm looking ahead to that first pit stop, and maybe we won't have to put quite as much fuel in. Maybe it'll save us a little time on pit road there. So car number two will start 12th, which means that we have our choice of tires. Uh, again, you can see the setup wasn't really all that favorable from what the AI gave us, but I've made a few tweaks, and it should be a good bit better than the 81%. So we've got one set of soft tires remaining. Again, one of the things that the AI does is it punishes you by using every set of tires that they possibly can. So you gotta love that. So we've got one set of soft tires. We're gonna use that here at the very beginning. And it says seven to nine, so I'll count on about seven laps. That would match up with how much fuel we have on board. And I am, on both cars, not gonna be pushing the tires simply because I need these tires to last as many laps as possible. So if we look at water, we're in Phoenix in the desert, so there shouldn't be any rain to worry about, but we'll find out. So, once again, that friendly reminder to get in a save before the race, and it actually wouldn't hurt to get in a save or two during the race as well. I generally don't do that, uh, but it definitely would not hurt to do so because I've been bitten by that before. We'll turn on the automated use of that. Let's, see, let's go ahead and spin the camera around this way. Okay, speed things up. I think it would be at this point... Uh, in time, I think it would be torturous to think about watching a race down on this speed. This is just, wow, this seems like torture. So let's go ahead and speed things back up. All right, so we're eighth and ninth right now. Which isn't too terribly bad. 
Uh, again, we got the worn tires. We're down to 56% here. So we're going to try to get what we can out of these. We got a 19 lap race is why I say that because, you know, let's get what we can out of these tires, make them last because, you know, if we have to go to medium tires, they won't be as fast. See, there's already some pit stops beginning. And again, I'm holding out. Oh my goodness. Wow. Our second car there comes running through. I can only guess that that was supposed to be simulating a brake failure because he almost took out both of our cars, which would have made this race even more frustrating to sit and watch because you have nothing really uh, to look for in the race. All right, so now they're coming in once again. So we only have the one car to deal with. Um, I think we've got enough to make it down there because I think it, 15 to 20 percent is where the plateau is or sort of the uh, the cliff on these tires so we've got we're going to have plenty to get to 20 or 15 i believe but now we are i can't believe we're running first i would have thought that there would have been somebody ahead of us by this point due to the tire situation but again here we go so we've got 15 laps remaining we're going to try to use our medium tires and just haul the mail on those as much as possible. So really nothing to fix here yet, although I do expect that we're going to need to fix the brakes at some point. We're going to go for the fast pit stop. Anything better than about 10 seconds is going to be considered a, a great result for us. All right, excellent. Here we come for our pit stop. And so we've got... You can see some folks that have not stopped yet. At this point, I'm going to hold off on pushing simply because if there's any chance I can make it to the end of this race without having to do any repairs, I think that will be worth more. The time saved in the pits will be worth more than any time I can make up by pushing on the racetrack uh, beyond what I already am with the engine. All right, so we're up to ninth, and it looks like there are a couple more cars that still need to make their first pit stop. That should move us to seventh, so not terribly bad. Again, with one car out, our other car, we need to make sure finishes with as many points as possible. All right, so we've caught up to the group here. Everybody in this group is on the medium tire, so as far as that goes, we're in great shape. Let's see, our condition is coming. All right, so it's dropped to 48%. In case you're wondering, I'm looking at the brakes here. This is there, the lowest number. Hoping that we can get through this race without having to do any fixes to the brakes. I mean, we're within very close distance to the third slot here. So I'm liking that idea. I'm thinking if we can have some good pitch stops and some consistent laps, then we're in position for a pretty good finish. And we're going to need, again, all the points we can get with one of our cars being crashed out. Keep an eye on our fuel. We still have plenty of fuel left for several more laps. Uh, and our tires are looking good. We're just under 60% there. All right, looking to take over second. This would be great if we could get out and get some clean air here. In fact, let's see if we can help this cause out a little bit here. Okay, that doesn't seem to be helping. I'll leave it on for just a little. Oh, never mind. They're coming into pit. Let's see what we got. We're down to 41% there, which is not where we want to be for sure. And right now, we're, so we're in the lead, but of course that is going to change as we have to come in and make our final pit stop. But tire wear is looking good. We're at 37%, but the, the medium tires really don't have a cliff. Okay, let's go ahead and push here because we're this will be our final lap. And let's see, 
We've got six laps remaining, and unfortunately, none of these tires will make it that distance. It says five laps remaining when we come in, which should be right. But again, I'm going to give it a little bit of extra. I'm not going to repair anything, and hopefully we don't get any huge uh, penalties in the pits. Because right now we have a nice lead, and again, that's we haven't made our second stop yet. So let's see what we can come in on our second stop. All right, very good, 9.2 seconds, and we come out in second position. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Let's see how our condition is. We're down to 37 there. Uh, we're just gonna have to take a chance here. If I can get on the podium, that would be amazing. Let's see what everybody else around us is doing. Okay, they're conserving. So they're falling back a little bit from us, or at least should. Almost thought I saw a little bit of rain there. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, let's back off of the pushing a little bit again. I'm trying to keep this condition in mind and make sure that we make it to the end. The biggest worry that I have right now is that first and third are on soft tires and I am not. So my hope is that their tires wear out in the next three laps and they lose a lot more speed than I do. Their tires are definitely a lot more worn, that's for sure. And we're right here within shot of first place. Boy, that is going to be close. I'm gonna have an extremely difficult time not pushing this. All right, we're at 30, 27% on the engine. Wow. We gotta go for this, just all out. Let's go full overtake mode here. We're on our final lap, let's go get them. Let's see if there's any way we can possibly get to it. All right, they're pushing as well. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to quite get there. So we'll end up with a second place finish, which will be good for the points. Uh, not quite as good as we needed because one of our cars wrecked out. But overall, I think we got about as much out of our car as we could have. We were on the verge of getting into the red zone on a couple of parts. So overall, I'm very happy with the race result. And also I'm very happy about the future and what this could mean for us because this is a race we started 10th and 12th. So we did not dominate qualifying in any way. In fact, we started out very weak in the race and yet we were able to come home with a second place finish, leading me to believe that our second car could have come home somewhere in the top five or six at least. But regardless, a great finish for us. And once again, scrutineering holds no worries for us. We'll move on and see, we've got six points. But you can see, once again, the point differential between first and second is huge. It's double. So those extra points for the victory are always much appreciated and make such a difference in the team championship. So now we'll come home again, once again, with six points and a second place finish. And now we'll have our driver number two and number five as we move closer and closer to the top. Let's see where the team championship. Okay, so we lost our lead and we're now four points behind. Again, that is due to the difference between coming in first and second and also with only one of our cars finishing, but this is only after five of 13 rounds. So we're still, I think, in great shape as we continue to improve our car. So we'll finish off the last couple of screens looking at our happiness as well as the money. Now our money's not gonna turn out quite as well this time because we did not get the bonus for our qualifying position since we didn't finish either one of our cars in the top six. But other than that, uh, great across the board, 100% everywhere, uh, pretty much except for the wreck, which dropped off a little bit. I'm not sure why the driver is blaming the mechanic for that, but hey, welcome to real life. And a very slow but steady increase in our marketability as a team. Our money, we lost $1.1 million. Again, not that we're in any danger of running out of money right now, but uh, it never feels good to see that you're losing seven figures in a race. So we're a little over 20 million 
remaining in our bank account. Finish up here, and now it brings us back to the home screen. So once again, a pretty good result. We come home with a second place finish. I uh, really wish we could have had both cars come home in the points that really would have helped us out in the team championships. Uh, but for now, we're only four points out of the lead, and we have a sizable lead that is forming over the rest of the top five in the team standings. So thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.